Welcome everyone to Yoga Basics. The props that we will be using today are a strap, a yoga block, and a chair. Making yourself comfortable on the mat, again, sitting up on some folded blankets or maybe a bolster if you have that. You don't have to sit with the legs folded, they can be extended out in front of you. And then just taking a few moments to prepare the body. So closing the eyes and turning the attention inward. Taking a moment to notice how your body feels. Especially noting any areas of tension or tightness. And then we'll take two deep cleansing breaths. So take a nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale it all out by blowing or sighing it out. And one more nice big inhale. And exhale it all out. And then soften the muscles of the face. Relax the muscles of the neck. And the shoulders. And then turning the attention to the breath. Notice the inhale and notice the exhale. And then we'll begin a nice even breathing, inhaling and exhaling to a count of four. So inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four. And just continue with this nice, even breathing. If at any time it makes you lightheaded or dizzy, just go back to your own normal breathing pattern. And then we also set an intention for each practice to help remind us why we are here. So that may be a benefit you would like to receive or just an uplifting or a positive thought or a phrase. So think of an intention that you'd like to have for your practice today. And then with your next inhale, go ahead and lift your head and open your eyes. If you did have your legs folded and you want to switch that top leg, go ahead and do that. And then we'll begin the warm up by turning our heads to look out over that right shoulder and coming back to center and turning to look out over the left. 
and back to center, dropping the chin to the chest. And then picking the chin up towards the ceiling and jutting that lower jaw out. And coming back to center and then dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. At the same time, extend your left arm out at about 45 degrees. Just see if you feel a little deeper stretch on that left side. Good, and come back to center and try it on the other side. Just extend that right arm out at about 45 degrees as you drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Just deepens that stretch a little bit. Good, and coming back to center, extending the arms out in front will open and close the fingers. And then some wrist circles. and reverse. Good, and then bringing the hands back to the left, we'll do some shrugs. And then the next time you lift the shoulders, roll them to the back. And bringing those shoulders back to neutral. And then extending the arms out in front, bring the palms and the elbows together. And with an inhale, extend those arms out, squeeze those shoulder blades, opening the chest. And then exhale, coming back to center. Inhale as you expand. Exhale, center. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And then go ahead and bring the hands down. We'll bring the right hand to the outside of the right hip. Inhale the left arm up. And then exhale. Nice easy bend to the right. Good. Coming back to center, switch arms as you inhale and exhale to the left. Good. And coming back to center, coming into a twist, we'll take the left hand, place it on the right knee, inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, turn and look to the right. Good. Releasing back to center, switching hands. Again, inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, turn and look to the left. Good, release back to center. And then go ahead, if you did have your legs folded, just extend them out in front of you. Shake them out a little bit, just to get that blood flowing again. And then we'll take our hands, place it behind the right thigh, pull that knee in and extend it out. Good, and the next time you pull that Knee in, hold it there, point and flex the foot. And then some ankle circles. And reverse your circle. Good, and switch legs. So start with that bending and extending the leg. Good, and then hold that knee in as you point and flex the foot. And some ankle circles. And reverse. Good. And then go ahead and release that left leg. We'll come onto our hands and knees. So if you would like to open up a blanket here. This, all right. So coming on to hands and knees, having the wrists under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. We'll come into a spinal warm up of cat cow. So with an inhale, lift the chest and the sits bones, arching the spine. 
With that exhale, press into the hands, rounding the back, dropping the chin. Inhale, back to cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good, let's try it two more times. Inhale and exhale. Good. And one last time here, inhale and exhale. Good. And then bringing the spine back to neutral and then coming into child's pose and just taking a few breaths here. Good, and then extending the arms out in front of you as you come back up to hands and knees, we'll come either into puppy pose or downward facing dog. So remember, puppy pose, you're going to stay here on your knees. Extend the arms out in front of you. You can even come up on your fingertips if you'd like. Then pull the shoulders down the back, extend the chest down to the floor. So you can stay here in puppy. Or bring the hands back, press into the palms as you then lift the legs. Press into the hands, extend through the shoulders and the arms, keep a bend in the knees, possibly straightening one leg then the other. And you don't have to hold it the whole time. You can just take a break, come back up, just working on building some of that upper body strength. Good. Then go ahead and if you were in down dog, go ahead and bring those knees back to the mat. So I'm gonna turn this way because I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna do a little low lunge, but then we're gonna add a little core challenge to that. So from hands and knees, shift your weight to the left. You wanna take this right leg and step your right foot forward. You can always uh, reach your right hand back, grab your right ankle, bring it forward. Now, we're going to shift our weight forward and let me grab my other block. If you do have two blocks handy, I should have said this at the beginning, I apologize. You can use those two blocks, that helps a lot. And you're going to just drop the hips down so we get a little bit of a stretch. We're gonna do that first, then we'll do our core challenge. All right, so now press into that back knee Bring the torso upright so you can see how your right foot is in front of your right hip and obviously your left knee is below the left hip. Here's your challenge. Just like when we stand, if we narrow our base of support, it makes us unsteady and we have to rely on these core muscles. So now take your right foot, bring it over so it's now in line with that left knee. You can see how I'm already challenging myself here. Obviously, if that's too narrow, take, you know, start to take that foot back out to the side. But see if you can keep that torso lifted here, maybe keeping the arms out to the side, whatever helps you a little bit. I'm going to um, add a little arm movement, which is even more of a challenge, but you do what you need to. Um, find a gazing point out in front of you also, and that will help with your balance. Good, just one more here. Good. All right, let's try it on the other side. So step that right knee back. We'll bring the left foot forward. Now you're gonna extend your foot forward a little bit just so we can drop the hips down. You don't want your left knee past your toes. Normally I'm to the side so you can see me, but um, 
I wanted to show you the challenge, so that's why I'm this way. All right, so just getting a nice stretch here on that right hip. All right, let's come into our core challenge. So coming back up, so take that left foot now, see if you can just slide it over a little bit so it's in line with your right knee. Find your gazing point, and you'll find one side, you're just, you're gonna have a little better, whoop, balance. All right, let me get my balance here. If you want to challenge yourself with moving your arms, go ahead and try that. If not, remember to find that gazing point. Good, last time here with those arms. Good, all right. From here, we're going to come up to standing. So walk that foot back out to the side, curl your back toes, place your hands on your thigh so you can step your uh, right foot forward. All right, go ahead and uh, just put your blanket to the side. And then uh, you do wanna have your chair handy. So if you have it off to the side, go ahead and bring it over to the mat and put the blocks to the side also for right now. All right, so we're gonna be doing another little uh, core challenge when we stand and then some core strengthening things when we come down to the mat. All right, so for right now though, we're going to start in Tadasana, so mountain pose. So bringing those feet hip width apart, Finding those four corners of the feet, lifting up through the arches, tightening the front of the thighs, lift and tighten the abdominals, arms alongside the body, lengthen the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. Good, again, gazing forward. Oh, picking those shoulders up. Rolling them down the back so that the chest is lifted. Now come back to that nice, even breathing as we take a few breaths here. Good. All right, so we're going to start with a balancing posture which is called stork pose. So come around the uh, right side of your chair or have the chair on your right side. And we're going to start by putting the weight in the right leg. Then you're going to bend the left knee. Now, depending on your balance situation, you may wanna keep your toes on the floor. If you can, see if you can pick up your knee. Again, you can keep your hand on the chair. And then bring that left hand to hold on to your left knee. So either balance here while keeping a hand on the chair, find your gazing point, or maybe letting go of the chair, extending that right arm up. Good, and continue to breathe. Good. And then go ahead and release. Walk it out. We'll try it on the other side. So I'm just going to move my chair over. All right. So grounding down again. Um, those feet are mainly the left leg now into the mat. So spread those toes nice and wide. As you shift the weight into that left leg, then bend the right knee. Again, just even keeping the toes on the floor, you could just bring your hands to prayer. Or holding on to the chair, then picking that right knee up and just use your right hand to hold on to that knee. Now you're still gonna extend up through the spine. Find that gazing point, hold it here, or letting go of the chair, 
Extending that arm up, keep those abs tight, and continue to breathe. Good. And then with your exhale, go ahead and bring that arm down, release that right leg, walk it out. And then we're going to do a little hamstring stretch. Now, if you have a little section of wall near you, then bring your chair up against the wall. I don't want to turn my back to you, so I'm just going to leave my chair here. If you don't have wall around you, then at least put it on your mat so that it doesn't slide. We're going to come around and face the chair, and then we'll shift the weight into the left leg, and then you're gonna bend the right knee and place your right foot on the chair. Now, we want to stretch the back of that left leg. So you're going to come forward, similar to that low lunge that we did where we stretched out the front of the thigh. You may have to take that left leg back a little bit because you wanna drop the hips, get a good stretch. Now, holding on to the back of your chair, extending from the hip so you don't round your spine as you come forward, but just maybe pressing the hips forward a little bit. Be careful of that chair. We don't want the chair to move. And press that left heel down. We just want to get a stretch in the back of that left leg. Good. And then coming back up, we'll try it on the other side. So bringing that left foot up. And again, if, if you feel that you're too close to the chair to stretch that right leg, then you'll have to step that right foot back a little bit. All right, and then as you come forward, you're gonna drop the hips forward, holding on to the back of the chair. Again, if you're near a wall, you could even put your hands on the wall and then extend forward a little bit. Press that right heel down. Keep the hips squared to the front of the chair. Good. And just continue to breathe. Good. And then go ahead and bring that torso up. Release the left leg. And then turn your chair around so the back of the chair is facing you. And we're going to come into a high lunge. And then we're going to throw a little core work in there too. So facing the back of the chair, we'll shift the weight into the left leg, bend the right knee. Now remember, when we come into a high lunge, you're going to be on the ball of that back foot. As you begin to bring that right foot back, bend the left knee, go as wide as you can with that right foot, and you're on the ball of the right foot. Your right knee is straight, or your right leg is straight, but you have a little bend in that knee, so you're not hyperextending it. Your left knee should be right over your ankle. Now the chair is there. If you need to keep a hand on the chair, go ahead and do that. If not, see if you can bring those arms up, Good, square yourself to the back of the chair. Good, continue to breathe. This is a great balance tester right here. You're working all those core muscles. Good. Now, I do want you to bring the left hand to the back of the chair. Take a nice big inhale to lengthen it, and with your exhale, bend to the left. Good, and then coming back to center. If you can, bring that left hand up. If not, keep a hand on the chair. Or you know what, go ahead and just bring your hands down to the chair. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna press that right heel down and then bring it back up. If you want a challenge, you can keep your hands up as you do that. 
Good, one last time. Good. All right, step that right foot forward. You feeling that in those glutes and your left leg? All right, shake it out. Let's try that on the other side. All right, facing the back of the chair. So you're gonna keep your hips facing forward. Now you're going to bend that left knee again as you step it back, bend the right knee, come on to the ball of the left foot. Good, have that right knee right over the ankle. If you need to, keep the right hand on the chair. If not, see if you can bring the torso upright. Good, and take a few breaths. Good, and then bring the right hand down to the chair. Take a nice big inhale, and with the exhale, then bend to the right. Good, come back to center. Go ahead and bring the left hand down to the chair, and then press the left heel down. Pull it back up, surround the ball of the foot. Press the heel down. You're not gonna actually touch the heel down. You're just pressing it down. And last time here. Good. And then stepping forward. Good. And release. All right. We've got one more standing posture. This is again um, a balanced posture. This is called dancer or half dancer. So you'll want the chair on the right side. We'll shift the weight over to the right leg. Now, this one has to do with your knee flexion. I'm gonna turn uh, diagonally so you can see. So if you have issues with that knee flexion, maybe you're wearing pants, just grab onto your pant leg. If you can grab onto your shin, if you're a little more flexible, maybe your ankle, top of the foot. Anyway, do you see how my right knee is now in front of my left? Or I'm sorry, that's my, my left knee is in front of my right. I want to push my left knee back so that it's in line with my right knee. Now, keep the torso upright. So this is what we call half dancer. You're welcome to stay here. If you want to try balancing, then releasing that right arm. Good. Now, if you want to challenge, you're going to bend from the hip, begin to extend that left leg behind you, bringing the torso forward just a little bit. And sometimes if I'm near the wall, I'll put like my left, I'm sorry, my right fingers on the wall just to give me a little stability. Good. All right, and then inhale, come on back up. Release that left leg, walk it out. We'll try it on the other side. All right, so this is a great quad stretch. So we'll shift the weight over to the left leg, you're holding on with your left hand now. Bend that right knee. Again, even if you have pants on, just holding on here. We just wanna get this stretch in the front of the thigh. You're gonna pull your knee back so it's in line with the left knee. If you can hold on to the ankle or even the top of the foot. Good. Keep the torso nice and straight. Gazing forward, if you can, then releasing that left arm, staying here, or coming forward, lifting that back leg a little bit. Just a little more of a challenge. Well, better come back to here. <laughs> Good. All right, come on back up to standing. Release that right leg. 
walk it all out, shake it out. And then we're going to come down on the mat, but keep your chair nearby. So I'm just going to put mine right here. And then we're going to come down to a seated position. So we want to extend the legs out in front of us. And you're going to keep a bend in the knees. Your feet are, um, are flat on the floor. So we've been focusing on the core for balance. Now we want to do a little strengthening. This is mainly working the low back. So make sure you pay attention here. Now we've done something called boat pose before where we've rolled back on our sacrum and then lifted our legs using our abdominals to support us. So it's going to be similar to that only we're not going to lift our legs. This is working the low back. So we'll extend the arms out in front of us, keep those shoulders down, take a nice big inhale, Keep the back perfectly straight, like you have a board strapped on your back. And then from the hip, you're going to lean back. You'll feel yourself coming onto that sacrum. Then with the inhale, pull yourself back up. All right, exhale, you're gonna roll down just about to 45 degrees, no more, and then back up. Good, the whole time your back stays straight. Kind of like a, a half sit-up. Remember those sit-ups we used to have to do? Which they now say are not good for you. But this one, because we're keeping our back straight, working the back muscles, working the abdominals. Good, let's do two more. Inhale up. Good, last one. Good. All right, relax it out. And then you'll want to grab your chair, bring it onto your mat. And then grab your blanket and your block. And you're going to open up your blanket in front of your chair. So we're going to come into a back bend called camel pose. And you want to make sure you've got all the kinks out of your blanket. All right. So to come into the pose, we are going to be on our knees. And I'm going to turn so my back is to the chair, the seat of the chair. And then before we actually come into the pose, you're going to just kind of do a little estimate on where the chair needs to be. What you're going to do is bend back and you're going to keep your hands either on the seat of the chair, maybe even the legs of the chair. So adjust your chair so that it's not too far back or not too close either. All right, so as we're on our knees, you wanna focus on keeping the hips over the knees. So most of the bending is from here, that's the thoracic spine. Oh, almost forgot our block. So we're going to take the block, just the narrow width of the block, and you're going to put that between your thighs and then walk your knees together so you're squeezing. Okay, now, here we go. So that keeps our legs basically activated. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, again, looking up, opening the chest, bring those hands back, Try to keep the hips over the knees. Great for opening the chest, stretching all those chest muscles, and working the back. Good, and breathe. Now, if it's uncomfortable to drop your head back like that, then just hold your neck up so it's more in line with the spine, that's fine. Good, and then with your inhale, go ahead and 
lift on back up. And then as you exhale, go ahead and remove your block. And then go ahead and just push that chair over to the side. And we're going to come into a twist. So this is our save your block. This is our Balrod Vajasana twist. I'm sure you'll remember it. You're still going to start on your knees. I'm going to turn around so that you see what I'm doing with my legs. All right. So from a kneeling position, let's shift the legs over to the left. You're going to take your block and put it underneath that right hip. So when you sit down, your right hip is on the block. This will help keep your hips in line with one another. Okay? All right, let me turn around this way so then you can then see. So we've got the legs to the left, right hip on the block. Take your left hand, place it on your right knee. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale, turn and look to the right. If you do have a second block, you could bring that behind you and place your right hand on it. If not, just put your fingertips on the mat. Just, uh, you want to help support the spine. Good. And keep breathing. Good. And then release to center. And we'll try it on the other side. So coming back onto hands and knees, swing both legs over to the right. Place the block down now so the left hip is on the block. And then as far as your feet are concerned, the top of my left foot is now just resting in the sole of my right foot. It makes like a little uh, place for the top of my foot to rest. Try to square your hips so your right hip is off the block, left hip on the block. Good. Take that right hand on the left knee, inhale to lengthen. Again, if you do have a second block, you can bring it around behind you. And then exhale, turning to the left, looking out over that left shoulder. Continue to breathe. Good. And then exhale as you release the twist. All right, go ahead and put your blocks to the side. Extend your legs out in front of you. Take your blankets, put a little fold in it, and then we're going to sit on that blanket. Go the other way here. All right. And grab your strap. So coming up on the blanket, we're going to extend the legs out in front of us and we're gonna go wide. So just extending those legs out. And then keeping the right leg where it is, bend the left knee and bring that left foot in towards the groin. Have your strap ready. That's going to go around the ball of the right foot. And then hold on to the strap with that right hand. Now, take a nice big inhale, and then as you exhale, we're going to bend to the right. So you can adjust yourself on the strap. If you're a little more flexible, maybe you can hold on to your toes. Options here, sweep that left arm up next to your ear, or just put it on your hip. Focus on opening that left shoulder and chest. Good, again, we're working the core here. Now we're focusing more on those obliques. Good, here, we're here. Good, and then with the inhale, go ahead and come on up. Go ahead and remove your strap. Extend the left leg. So we've done this before this one, which is Janu Sarsasana. So it's similar to that, only 
your leg now is at about 45 degrees, but you still pull that um, right foot in towards the groin. Okay. So that strap around the ball of the left foot. Again, you're going to hold on to that with that left hand or maybe even hold on to your toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, now you're going to bend to the left. Tighten up the front of that right or left thigh. Sorry about that. So that the back of the left thigh will um, be pressed down towards the mat. That's lengthening that hamstring. Right hand on the hip as you open up that right chest and shoulder or sweeping it up next to the ear. Good. And then continue to breathe. Good. And then inhale as you release. Go ahead and release your strap and just put that to the side. So we're going to come down on our backs. We'll do a little um, hip opener to release some of the tension in the hips. And then we're going to place our legs on the chair. So before you actually go down on your back, just make sure that your chair is to um, the short end of your mat. And then anything else that you need for Savasana, make sure that's close by too. All right, so we'll start by just lowering ourselves, rolling on your side and lowering yourself down to the mat. And then keeping the knees bent as you're on your back, walk your feet out to the edge of the mat. So you feel the edges of the mat. Now, up to you, you can bring your arms up just at shoulder height here, what we call goddess arms, or if you're okay extending the arms, you'll get a little deeper stretch and you're gonna feel this more <clears throat> into the sides of the body. So take your left index finger and thumb, this is if you're okay bringing your arms up overhead, grab the back of your right wrist, and then as you drop that right knee down towards the left, gently pull that right arm to the left. So now you should feel a nice stretch all the way down the right side of the body. Good, and then come back to center, release. Let's try it on the other side. So grab the back of the left wrist, drop the left knee down, gently pull that left arm to the right. Good, and come back to center. Let's try that once more each side. This is a great warm-up stretch to even do, either at the end or in the morning as you're waking up. Just getting things loosened up. Good, and then the other side, left. And pulling that arm in a little bit. Good. And then coming back to center, release. And then we're going to place our legs on the chair. So you'll have to probably scoot yourself down a little bit. If you would like, I probably should have told you this before you came down, but you can put your blanket on the chair too, depending on what kind of chair you have. But you wanna place your hips pretty close to the seat of the chair. And then as you roll on your back, you're going to place the lower legs on the chair. So as you sit here, the legs are probably not completely 90 degrees, but pretty close. And then we're just going to take a minute or so to relax here, it relaxes that psoas muscle that we really used a lot in our lunges, stretched and worked. So we'll just give it a little rest here. Also, that's the muscle that you use when you sit. So it's always good. This is a great pose, again, to do at the end of the day, just to relax that psoas muscle. Good, and just take a few breaths here.
Just a few more seconds. Good. And then go ahead and lift those legs up again, roll onto your side. And then position yourself on the mat. If you want to push your chair off the mat, go ahead and do that. So then coming onto your back, extending the legs, having the arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. And we'll come into Savasana. You'll stay here. I'm going to come up to see this. chest, filling the lungs all the way up to the collarbones. With your exhale, let the collarbones fall first, then the chest, then the abdomen, drawing the navel to the spine. Taking a few of these nice deep breaths. And then focus on the physical body. Relax all the muscles from the feet. way up to the crown of the head. Release any tension. on the mind. Release any thoughts, worries, or anxiety. With your next inhale, think the word so Deep exhale, think the word hum, which means I am. Or use any other words or phrase that has meaning to you. And give yourself just a few moments.
in to deepen your breath. And then start moving your fingers and toes. And the wrist and the ankle. When you're ready, bending both knees and rolling onto your right side in a fetal position. I'm taking a few breaths here. And then using your left arm to support you, pushing yourself back up into your seated position. Keeping the body relaxed and the eyes closed for another moment. Focus on the intention that you set at the beginning of the practice. And then we'll take one more deep cleansing breath. So take a nice big inhale. And exhale it all out by blowing or sighing it out. And then go ahead and lift your head and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.